everyone, it is me, Mary, and I am here today with another instructional video for you. So essentially what I want to do is show you how I go over an ad and how I look at an ad. Now this is not to be an ad preview. This is essentially to show you how I, as an extreme couponer, go through an ad and check it out and what I look at to find out what I believe would be a good deal. This is something that I believe is very hard for people when they first start couponing because, you know, at, at first you're almost like, well, everything's a good deal. I want to check out everything. I want to buy everything, but that's not always the best way to be, okay, guys? So let's go ahead and get started here. So this is Rite Aid. This is going to be for the upcoming week, the 18th through the 24th, and we still have the rake in the points. Now, this is the last uh, week for rake in the points, which is very depressing to me, um, but hey, let's continue to go. So the first thing I'm looking at here is I want to look at deals that even if I don't really have any spectacular coupons, that I could still get a good price on, okay guys? So there's a few that are really popping out to me. Um, I definitely see the Suavitel and I see the Purex. I don't know if there's a coupon for the Purex, but at this point, I'm not concerned with coupons, okay guys? I'm just concerned with looking at the ad. Nothing more, nothing less. I also see the Suavitel, which is something that I love. Um, I also see here the Pop-Tarts, and I remember that we had a Checkout 51 offer on Buy 2 Pop-Tarts, save like a buck 50 or something like that. So that could be a potential good deal. Um, I'm also looking here at these Snickers. Um, these are the six packs, and I know in the partner um, offers or the household offers, I can't recall which one, I had a deal like a $2 if you buy two or something like that. So I really can't recall what that is, to be honest with you. But I'm putting that in as a potential filler, and then I'm uh, noting to check for the household our partner offers to see the deal that I have. Now I also see the um, soft soap and the Irish Spring. I know the Irish Spring's bringing like a dollar off coupon, and the soft soap supposed to bring like a 75 cent coupon. So it's not part of raking the points, but I am just going to consider that to see if I have any overage if that's something I could pay for. So we're just going to go to the next page, and I don't know if you noticed, but I put little circles by the things I wanted to uh, look at further. I don't see anything that I'm concerned with here. Um, there's actually nothing here either that I'm concerned with. Halloween, this is my favorite holiday of the year, guys. Nothing there. I wish I still had those check coupons because I would have definitely taken advantage of those. If you have any of those $5 off of one um, coupons, those check coupons that I showed you, I did a video on how to get formula for free. This could be a good one, and it goes towards raking the points. And the size restriction here, though, is 20 through 22 ounce, so you have to consider that. Now, is there anything else... Gum. Okay, this right here, um, I know that I thought I saw a coupon for this. I may still have one. If not, I know that these can be relatively inexpensive, and they're buy one, get one half off, so that could be a potential good item to get to 50, the $50 deal. Dial. Okay, so Dial and I don't get along. I have a very big skin um, sensitivity to Dial. However, there's also tone there, but dial may be something I may do just for the purpose of the videos, and then I'll just donate it, but this may be a good item, so what I'm going to do there is I'm going to circle that and know that I want to check it out. Okay, now I love this right here, the uh, Mitchum. We have a $2 in ad coupon, and just so you know, if you ever wonder if it's a manufacturer or a um, Rite Aid, see how it says right there, RC? That's a Rite Aid coupon, okay, guys? Okay, so that's definitely going to be something I'm going to take advantage of. Now, I know that we have a $2 coupon that's expiring. I believe it expires on the 17th. I'm not sure. I will check that. Um, so if it's a $2 coupon, that'd be even a better deal. But if it's not, we still have the $1. The um, soft soap here, this is not part of raking the points. But if I have overages, I'd like to pick that up. So I circled that. And see... If you're noticing, I am circling raking the points offers that could help me out to get to the 50 that I think would be great deals. But I'm also circling things that are not raking the points. And the reason I'm circling those is because if I do have overages, those are items that I need in my household. 
So what I'm going to try to accomplish here is getting the items at a highly reduced rate, um, coupling sales and coupons together, and then taking advantage of the monies that we could potentially make in the form of we invest a certain amount, we receive a certain amount, so if we have a positive return on the investment, then we can utilize those items to uh, you know, uh, buy other items that we need that may not be part of the promotion, but that we need in our household, okay? I love Physician's Formula, but this is not a good deal at all. Uh, Wet and Wild, that's pretty funny. That right there is actually a Physician's Formula product, so it's in the wrong spot. But anyways, I don't know if anybody else noticed that. Okay, so Wet n Wild's Cosmetics, buy one, um, are they 40% off, but it does say $1.99 and up, so it has to be the more expensive one. So that's a pretty good deal anyways. It says that we're receiving a coupon. I never get those coupons, um, so I have to end up ordering them, but this may be a good deal for you, especially seeing as how we're already getting 40% off. So that's a pretty, pretty cheap thing that's going on there that would help us out. I don't know if anybody has any of those $5 off of two coupons. I know a lot of people have had problems with them apart from Walgreens, so I'm not even going to consider that this week. CoverGirl, um, we have some $1 off of one, and then we have the eyeliner. I think it's like one off of one, and then maybe some people have the $3 off of one left. But I see here that it's eye, lip, and nail, and it is part of breaking the points. So I see the Garnier is included, but seriously, it's like $4.99 each. So you buy one, get one half. So you're still looking at about seven bucks. So even if you have a three off of two, which I don't know if we have, that's just not a, that's a ridiculous deal for me. Like that's not even something I would begin to consider. Okay, so I'm not circling much of it. Oh, there we go. So the Skintimate and Edge, I believe we have a $2 coupon available or that I've already printed from coupons.com. So that will be something I'd consider. These razors are just a little too expensive for me. I don't know if I want to work that out, to be honest with you. <clears throat> Nothing here. Now, have y'all ever done this before? <clears throat> this is a pretty good deal here, and I know my nails are tacky. I'm going, I swear, I'm going to do them tomorrow. I promise. I'm going to get that drill out, and I'm going to do them nails. Okay, so here we go. You see this right here? Um, up to 50,000 points with two eligible prescriptions. So you get 2,500 points, which is 25 bucks, um, if you bring over a prescription. Now it has to be a prescription that's gonna be like a reoccurring prescription. So like for me, if I have my heart meds, I just bring it over here and I'd get 2,500 if I'm not already a part of their um, pharmacy. So it cannot be anything like if you have, and this really stinks, if you have like, um, um, Medicaid or Medicare, I don't believe that you can actually do this. So let's see here. I know that it's for like Medicare, you can't do that. I had somebody bring that up to me one time. Okay, so here we go. Nothing there. Okay, this is my cat's cat food right here. So this is expensive. However, what I'm going to consider is trying to get um, monies, you know, that are in addition, like I said earlier. And then being able to utilize those and get things that I actually need for my household. Okay, so it doesn't always have to be what is what is free. Um, we want it to be free, so we try to get items that we can align to get overages to be able to get things we need. I need this. Okay, that's too expensive for me. And then the last page. So I put this here. I don't know if you noted that I said it's a filler item. So what a filler item means is if I've got to get a buck or so, to get to where I need to get, I know that these items are a dollar, so I'm just going to make myself know about those. Now, the um, Lay's potato chips, those are extremely expensive. I do have some Peely coupons. Um, I think they're still like, um, I bought a bunch of them one day with some overages, and what I ended up doing was I was only able to use a few coupons, so you still have the remaining coupons, the one off of two. So that's not the best deal in the world, but we'll see how that goes. The Foster Grant Reading Glasses, now this is a pretty good deal. There are some that are extremely inexpensive, guys. And I do not use these reading glasses. However, I know that there are people in need of reading glasses. So if I can get them free or cheap, I would absolutely do that so I can donate them. So that's why I have that. And this is something that we always have to have in my home, and that's the Stay Free Pads. 
Um, so what I'm going to do is look for coupons on that and then I'll consider the prices. Now, how do I know prices, guys? Number one, I scout. I scout my store. So I'll know what's the price on this, this, and this. And then I check what it says. It says all here. So I know that that's a consideration on those. And then what I also can do is you can go online to RiteAid.com, go under shop. And then when you go under shop, you can check prices that way as well. Okay, guys? So there are different ways. And sometimes when you go under shop, it'll ask for a zip code. So you have that as well because prices do change from region to region. So this is how I look at an ad, and this is not going into checking any coupons at all. All this is right now is looking at my ad and seeing what it is, if anything, that I'm interested in. And honestly, this is not the best week to end this. So not very excited, but you know we'll work it out, guys. All right, thanks for watching this video. Bye, guys.